If you wish to get notified whenever we release a new video, kindly click subscribe. Then click on the bell that appears next to it and select all from the drop down menu. This video features one of the subspecies of the Western honeybee, the Maltese honeybee, which is scientifically known as Apis mellifera rutneri. It was declared as a distinctive subspecies in 1997 and is endemic to the Maltese islands, which are an archipelago of islands that are situated in the south of Europe, precisely at the center of the Mediterranean Sea. This endemic ecotype started to evolve into a distinct subspecies millions of years ago, when the Maltese islands were isolated from mainland Europe and Africa, when the Mediterranean Sea started to rise up. Due to this separation, the honeybee found itself confined to a small island, hence there was lack of gene flow between other bees in the neighboring regions. Eventually, over a span of millions of years, this led to the evolution of this distinct subspecies. The Maltese honeybee is similar to the Sicilian and North African honeybees, which together with the Maltese honeybee, before the separation of the continents, were one subspecies. They all belong to the A lineage and are morphologically similar. This in itself is proof that one time, the European and African continents were joined together. The Maltese honeybee is small in size and of a dark color. When compared to the North African and the Sicilian bees, it has shorter legs and wings. The wings are also much narrower, and from all the bee ecotypes it has the widest abdomen. It has long hair on its abdomen. This honeybee, as expected, is very well adapted to the Maltese climate and environment. For millions of years, the Maltese honeybee was the only subspecies on Malta, However, this changed in 1992, when the Varroa mite was accidentally introduced. This new pest, totally unknown to the local bee, had left a devastating effect and killed many colonies. To make up for this loss, foreign bee queens were imported, which eventually led to the hybridization of the endemic ecotype. The continuous importation of foreign queen bees is considered as the biggest threat to the existence of the Maltese honeybee, which is rare and on the verge of extinction. The Maltese bee took several millions of years to evolve into a distinct subspecies, but it took humans only a few decades to put it on the verge of extinction and without any conservation efforts it would be lost forever. Grossly indicating how unsustainable our practices are, instead of priding ourselves that we have our own honeybee which is perfectly suited for the local conditions. No other breed could be possibly better. This video will feature special strategies that were evolved by a particular subspecies of the honeybee in order to evade an attack from the oriental hornet. Let me first start by giving you some background about the situation. This footage was shot on the island of Malta, where the honeybee, Apis mellifera, and the oriental hornet, Vespa orientalis, are both indigenous, meaning that they have been living together on the island before the arrival of man. In other words, the honeybee survived the presence of the hornet without any human intervention for millennia. On the island of Malta, there is a particular subspecies of the western honeybee, Apis mellifera rutneri. This particular subspecies has evolved special strategies to control attacks by the oriental hornet and is even capable of killing it. In the past, these mechanisms of protection worked perfectly well as the population of hornets was always kept in check. However, lately due to various factors, which are all due to human interference, 
have helped to boost the population of the Oriental Hornet, to a point that is becoming difficult for the honeybee to deal with. Sustainable beekeeping is paramount if we want the rearing of bees to thrive. Rearing local subspecies of honeybees is a necessity if we want to be sustainable in our practices. The endemic honeybee has been living in Malta for millions of years and its survival in itself shows that it is well suited for the local conditions. On the contrary, foreign bees, as expected, are not well adapted and usually do not live long. We are going to show you some strategies that the endemic honeybee, Apis mellifera rutneri, has evolved against the oriental hornet. First, they are capable to seal off the hive entrance with propolis in a matter of a few hours. This reduces the size of the entrance and thus they can control better what goes in. They are not scared to fight off the hornet, as you can see from the following video. In addition, they can also attack a hornet and kill it by boiling it en masse. Although not visible in this video, at one time an oriental hornet flew over the honeybees. The reaction of the bees was caught on camera. Here you can observe their reaction. Another adaptation is that a certain number of honeybees stay at the hive entrance on alert for any hornets. If a hornet dares to go in, they would boil it to death. The final strategy that we are going to show you is how the honeybees fly while leaving or returning to the hive. They make it difficult for the hornet to catch them. 